नमस्कार मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्क ऑफ एन आर एस एस मैन हैज बीन डन बाय श्री तारेक फता थैंक यू सर बट नॉट ऑल वॉट ही सेस इज आर एस एस यू I have lost always been thinking why I have been invited to this type of conclave last year also I was there persons like Tariq Fata are invited for their views and some are for their looks and fun because of their position I don't possess any of these things. I know I have been invited because I represent an organization. मुझे अच्छा लगता है ये सभी हिंदी में ही चलता If our guest from Taiwan हिंदी में चार बातें बोल सकते हैं तो हम क्यों नहीं बोल सकते ऐसे मुझे लगता है लेकिन बहुत लोग यहाँ हिंदी नहीं समझने वाले हैं तो तो इसलिए तारेक फता जी ने जो हिंदी इंग्लिश के थोड़ा सा किया वो मैं भी सोच रहा था ये जो इंडिया सेवेंटी कल अमित भाई ने जब कहा मैं वही सोच रहा था 1997 में एक ऐड आया था इन न्यूज़पेपर्स ऑन द कंपटीशन ऑफ द फिफ्टी ईयर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया मदर इंडिया वी सल्यूट यू ऑन यूर फिफ्टी एथ बर्थडे द एडिटर शुड नॉट हैव एक्सेप्टेड सच ए नैड एंड द कॉर्पोरेट हाउस विच रिलीज सच एन एड डजेंट नो हिस्ट्री एंड अमित भाई हेज ऑलरेडी मैंशन अबाउट इट एस्टडे हाउ ओल्ड दिस नेशन और सिविलाइजेशन इज वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट democracy development and dissent i would like to take one or two points only to make presentation of uh, some ideas or thoughts that come to my mind often ye jo dissent hai asahmati actually in place of dissent it could have been dialogue because democracy is not the essence of democracy is is it dissent or dialogue i feel it is dialogue this land has seen a very meaningful dialogue 5000 years ago on the battlefield of kurukshetra it was called krishna arjuna samvad and slowly over the decades the dialogues are being suppressed dialogue is becoming only heated argument and not dialogue and you see our tv debates it's all screaming all heat and no light where is the dialogue if there is a dialogue dissent can be accepted dissent not only should be accepted it should be honored because you have a view, different view point nothing wrong but the problem in this country today is you have a dissent if i disagree with that, that dissent then i am intolerant so you have the right to dissent but if i disagree with that dissent then you put me as intolerant so this is the problem that's why more and more dialogue is necessary and many a time differences are blown up blown up to such an extent that as if uh, many nations are living in this one nation and that's why the consensus has been ever elusive the essence of democracy to my mind is the consensus also last night i was discussing with a friend who is attending this conclave 
He said it's majority. I do agree that majority is a different thing in democracy. In governance, it may be so. But a democratic way of life requires consensus. Aam sahamati chahiye. But there are a plethora of issues in this country. Even after 70 years, we are not arrived at consensus. Take, for example, the concept of nation and nationalism. Just now, Sir Mr. Akbar, you are speaking of national interest. What is national interest? There will be 100 people who will be asking it. Which is national interest? So the consensus about nation, about dharma, about social justice, on the issue of reservation, on the issue of a language or a lingua franca for this country, we have not been able to arrive at a consensus even after seven decades. The diversity of that part is something different. I am not for regimentation or homogenization. I am not speaking about uniformity. Consensus is something different. Nation can express itself in a variety of ways. But at least nation is one and the concept of nationalism has to be acceptable to all. And we have not been able to arrive at this consensus. This national consensus is very much required. That is what I feel. And unfortunately, two very important areas of our public debate, academia and media, have not contributed enough to arrive, to evolve consensus on these issues. Rather, they have created more and more dissensions and divisions. I am making this statement with responsibility. Now, another area is the differences man-made or nature made. They, 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 they are going to be there. The other day I was participating in a meeting of Muslim intellectuals in Delhi. I told them because I am born in a Hindu family, I have become Hindu and you are born in a Muslim family, you are, you, you, you are a Muslim. But we have taken birth in one nation and you do accept that this is one civilization? This problem has been created. It has been created, there is a conspiracy behind it. That was not so. Decades ago, these things were not so much prominent. Today, they have become. Unfortunately, many of the expressions, many of the public activities are contributing to blow up these differences instead of cementing them how we can overcome, that should be a serious question to debate and to arrive at some solution or remedy. The another area which I think is, which other speakers have touched upon since last evening, that is the systemic change after 70 years. About electoral reform in the previous session, Archana ji was referring to that. About judiciary, somebody told, education system, our administrative system, these systems, they are not today, unfortunately, allowing the democracy to flourish fully. We have borrowed some of them. We are not what enough, not made enough research 
Jain Sinaj in the first session, he was uh, taking whether the, the, the democracy or the constitution is uh, in tune with the ethos of our nation. There is no consensus on that. So I feel there is, the time has come for systemic change and deconstruction and reconstruction have to take place. And finally, a different point I am touching upon, that is what could be the contribution of India to humanity now at 70. For the last two years we have been seeing that International Yoga Day. The other day I asked in a university students gathering, what are the other things that India can say that we can contribute to the humanity? Generally people said yoga, pranayam, then somebody said Ayurveda, some, somebody said family system, somebody said the Sanskrit language. I said none of these things are the products of last 100, 200 years, leave alone for the last 70 years of our nation. Neither the yoga, nor Ayurveda, nor Sanskrit language, nor the family system, all these things are of age-old, ancient contributions to humanity. What we, at 70, can contribute to the world, to a larger cause of humanity, I think that is to live harmoniously with people belonging to various occasions, different faiths and modes of worship, with different backgrounds, and that is why I said a consensus at a different level that is required. If we can achieve that, I think that would be the wonderful model that we can present to the world because today the world is a crossroads how to live harmoniously with differences. So if we can achieve that here is a consensus that we have achieved, we can show that this ancient nation with so much of variety can live peacefully, harmoniously and with consensus, with total peace and thing and also with the modern yardsticks of development. If we can achieve that, I think this conclave has given a right message for the people of this country. That's all. Namaskar.